Hello there, laser girls and other enjoyers of the double rainbow. Today we take a look at how a possible ASU for looks could look like. Because this is not real rework, we will stay a lot closer to the original design, simply elevating it to something that fits modern league better. So buckle up, take out your sunglasses and let's dive right into it. First I will give you a quick rundown about Lux. Lux is the Marcian nobility. She is a mage who grew up as someone who needed to hide her powers. As mages got persecuted by a part of the Demarcian government, Lux eventually gets discovered and in the middle of this the mage rebellion happens and Lux flees the central city of Demarcia. Now I will drop a spoiler about the Mage Seeker game, so please if you have not played it yet or are planning to do it, here is your sign to skip to the next chapter. Lux in the Mage Seeker, with the help of some mages, sets up camp and rebuilds the city Trebesia. Cyrus urges Lux to confront the Mage Seekers, but she opts to forge a new future. Garen warns Lux of Visterias, the most powerful Mage Seekers, impending threat, pleading for her return, but she refuses. Garen reports back to Jarvan, the two realize their mistake and he sends Garen to stop Visteria. Silas arrives to aid Lux in the battle and Garen intervenes just in time to help Lux. He apologizes, vowing support. After the fight, Garen helps Lux rebuild Tebasia. Lux agrees to return to the capital to counsel Jarvan. Jarvan, seeking redemption, abolishes the mage seekers making Terbizia a haven for mages governed by Lux. Now with those changes we can say a few things. Lux is still in a leading position, just as in her position in the Eliminators, an order with the mission to help the less fortunate. Demacia is still her home and she identifies as a Demacian. Having done that, we can already start the design. And here I had to answer three questions. First, how can I elevate her design? Secondly, what hairstyle fits Lux the best? And lastly, how to push her light identity to 11? Hey, if you're new here and you like the content, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Now let's continue. The design was the hardest. Lux design started as someone who could have been just a generic mage from any old MMO. Boob armor, leggings, and where have I seen the color scheme before? So I made a poll. Does Lux need to keep her armor, or does she have to lose some or all of it? And the answers were very much anonymous. Yeah, and the Reddit one was a bit of a troll poll as I mislabeled one option. But the answers spoke for it. Some armor had to go. Now, with this in mind, I started making a lot of different designs. I played with the idea of no plate armor on the chest, with mage robes or with some capes. Relatively early I realized that there were a few things that I did like and some things which annoyed me. First about my nitpicks. I always was annoyed that Lux was wearing something that looked like an armored skirt. As someone who has thought about armor for more than 5 minutes, you realize that this is very impractical and a very early 2000 stereotype. It falls into the bikini armor option. And yes, the iron boot plate definitely has to go as well. And is something that has already been fixed by the Wild Rift design. Another thing that I don't like are armored boots. Why have heavy armored boots when you need to be limber? And lastly, and interestingly, <laughs> the thing that I was most passionately about, the texture of her pants. I think that the kind of cloth people wear says a lot about them. If you check out the outfits of The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, you get some really amazing costumes with totally different stitching, weight or patterns. The same is true for Arcane with people from Piltover and with their Art Deco-esque impressive attires, in contrast to the heavy clothing of the Zornite people. Now to put that in contrast, we have modern superhero movies. 
everyone wearing the same exact suits. Everything is basically a fancy leggings or some kind of plastic or leather, of course with some exceptions. And this is sadly something League of Legends sometimes does it well. Sure thing, you don't see it from in-game, but, but the missing thought about the texture that has not been evaluated will be a problem long term in the broader universe. This is why the Prestige skin artworks, for example, are so amazing, because they feel believable. So my solution for this was something called quilted clothing. And it looks like this. Something that makes her clothing look a lot thicker. As you can't forget, the Demacia shares a border with the Freljord, so it can definitely get cold sometimes. But more importantly, this looks like the kind of clothing someone would wear who would get her hands on things. On the other hand, I wanted a valuable member of the mages to look a bit better groomed than the normal person, just because a lot of the basic things will be cleaned and groomed by magic. So I gave her pants with some golden knobs between the quilted cloth. Then I asked again for feedback and it was relatively clear that a lot of people still wanted to keep the chest piece and that most people also want her to keep the blue design. So I took that feedback and created these pieces. I gave her some ivory colored leather boots that get some lines that symbolize the lost feathers she had in her old design. I tried some different cloth lengths around the hips and even tried a cloak. But to be quite fair, I do think that a cloak will take away too much from her silhouette. I mean, I love it from a front view, but on the champion it looks a bit meh. Now the hair. The hair is something where Lux uh, went through the moods. Wild Rift gives her straight shorter hair, Law gives her wavy hair that goes past her shoulders. In the comic her hair is straight. Now I did some polls here on YouTube and some on Reddit. And let me tell you, Lux mains are very united in Lux having to have long hair. Now we can throw all of this together and I would personally go for the design with her chest armored. And even if I haven't picked some of those designs, they maybe could be revisited once more one day when I'm about to learn Blender. But now I will show you my favorite part about this ASU. So, you know Sola and Luna Eclipse Leona? When she ults and her hair and face starts to glow, this is what I want for Lux. Well, imagine you cast that R, looks a sense, her hair starts glowing and then floats behind her. And when she lands, she's still shining, now fully herself, the light of Demacia. It can be such small things that bring a fantasy to life. So if you like this one, I'm happy that you enjoyed it. Let me know which designs you would have taken and check out my other designs if you have not yet seen them. As with Lux, I have covered three Demarsian champions. As always, this was Artis and I will see you all in the next video.